Now that we've configured a phone to connect to Asterisk, we will begin to delve into the Asterisk Dial Plan. This is where the fun really begins. The Asterisk Dial Plan is the heart of Asterisk, where all call routing is managed. This is also where you can configure call services like voicemail, conferencing, and queues, as well as functionality such as least cost routing and auto attendant. This configuration is stored in extensions.conf, which we briefly looked at in our configuration file overview. You've seen that most asterisk configuration files are configured by using key value pairs to set options. By contrast, the dial plan in extensions.conf is written more like a scripting language. Its syntax is comprised of context, extensions, priorities, and applications, as well as application arguments, functions, variables, and expressions. But don't worry, we will cover all of these in depth before the end of the course. For now, we will cover the very basics and you will see just how easy it can be. During our configuration overview, we discussed the basic structure of extensions.conf. You will recall that below the general and global sections that you may add user-defined organizational units called contexts that act as containers for extensions. In the previous module, we also specified a context option for the configuration of our IP phone which we set to internal underscore users. It is important to understand this relationship. The context configured for the phone defines the location in the dial plan where asterisk will begin looking for the extension dialed by the user of the phone. Remember that asterisk's dial plan is unlike traditional dial plans. There is no direct association between an endpoint and an extension. Asterisk's dial plan routes calls to extensions and each extension performs one or more applications. To map an extension to a phone, we use the dial application. But instead of dialing a phone, we could use the voicemail application, or the queue application, or any of dozens of other applications with our extension. We will be creating our first extension inside of this internal underscore users context, so that we can dial this extension from our phone. But first, let's discuss the basic syntax of an extension. Every extension, no matter how small or large, simple or complex, must follow the same basic syntax. We declare an extension with extend equals greater than, followed by the extension name, which may be an alphanumeric string of any length. A priority number follows the extension, and last we have an application. These units are separated by commas. A simple real-world extension would look something like this. Note the first unit is a number, 8500. This is the extension name. The priority is set to 1, meaning this is the first action Asterisk will take when this extension is executed. The application in this example is voicemail. The parameters for a given application go in between the parentheses that can follow the application name. The parameters and syntax for a given application can be viewed using the inline help available from the Asterisk CLI. You may run the command core show application voicemail to see the arguments and options possible for the voicemail application. Observing the tradition with scripting or programming languages, we will now create a very simple Hello World extension. As required by the syntax rules we've discussed, we will begin by adding the extend equals greater than declaration. This is followed by the extension name. We will use the number 6000. Next we must add our priority. Because this is the first priority for this extension, we must use the number 1. For each subsequent action, the priority will increase by 1. Now we'll add the first application called Answer. As you might expect, this application tells Asterisk to answer a ringing channel. Each new line or priority of an extension must begin with the same extension name. This next priority is one more than the previous one. For our next application, we will use Playback. Playback is an application that plays a specified sound file to the channel. The argument inside the parentheses is a sound file which lives in the Asterisk Sounds directory. The Hello World file is one of dozens of sound files included with Asterisk. Our third priority calls the Hangup application, which will cause the channel to be hung up. This is not always necessary, but it's good practice to explicitly ensure the call is ended when there are no other actions to perform on it. To get Asterisk to recognize the new extension we've added to our dial plan, we must first save our changes to extensions.conf and then issue the command dial plan reload at the Asterisk CLI. This will cause Asterisk to reread the configuration contained in the extensions.conf file and apply this and any other changes made to extensions.conf. Now we can dial extension 6000. And we hear the Hello World sound file from our phone. Hello World! Now that you've created your first extension, we'll move quickly on to our second. Our first extension played a sound file. 
This next one will dial an endpoint. This assumes you've configured at least two IP phones to connect to Asterisk, as described in the Setting Up an IP Phone module at the beginning of this chapter. It's surprisingly easy to add an extension to dial a phone. We first open extensions.conf and navigate to the proper context. Then, as always, we begin defining a new extension with extend equals greater than, followed by our extension name. This is the point that you, as an Asterisk administrator, choose a number to associate with this endpoint. We will use 6002. Our first priority must be set to 1, with following priorities numbered sequentially. The application we use to dial our second phone is called Dial. You might have noticed we are not using the Answer application in our first priority, as we did in our Hello World example. This is because the call log will reflect the call as answered as of the time the Answer application is executed. We don't want the record to show the call is answered unless the phone we dial actually picks up. So in this instance, we don't use the answer application. If the phone is picked up, the call log shows an answer time that matches when the phone was actually answered, as you would expect. Now to apply our addition to the dial plan, we must save our changes to extensions.conf and run dial plan reload at the asterisk CLI. There we go. In one simple line of dial plan script, we've configured asterisk to make a live call. In this module, we've talked about the dial plan and shown the relationship between sip.conf and extensions.com. We've briefly discussed extension syntax and created our first Hello World extension. We also wrote an extension to dial a phone using only one line of script. Now you can view the next module, First Call Breakdown, in which we will drill down to see what happens when one phone dials another in asterisk.